So something like this to join Samantha, you know, in a country of a billion people, it's not often that one person gets up to make a difference and a lot of people talk about it. So when I saw what she was doing and what she was planning to do, I had half an opportunity and I jumped in because, uh, yeah, some people talk about it, some people do it, and the rest of us, we try and help the ones who are, the very few who are actually doing this stuff. Well, I think, I think the key with, with what World Vision is doing, it's not just one blanket, this is what we're going to fix. You know, it, it's very much community driven, providing what the community requires, not what you think the community wants. And if it's not coming from the community and driven by the community, it's not going to be sustainable. And I think that's why World Vision has been so successful as an NGO for so long. Yeah, I'm lucky to have John T come and join me in the last couple of days together so it's nice to have some new company and become a bit of a legend so we're about to kick off from Jaipur in the middle of town. Not for very long. <laughs> no. Not really a smile. It's a grimace. 10Ks out of Jaipur. I'll tell you what I'm about to get on a motorbike because I don't know how this young lady does that for another 50. So I want to hold her back. She's got a long way to go still. So I want to be her anchor on this road to towards Delhi eventually. But yeah, what an awesome time to be out in India. On a road, believe it or not, on foot. Don't do that too often. She really is inspiring. Yeah, I felt really guilty almost was leaving while she ran on and I hopped in the van and then got on the bike. So yeah, she, she is very inspiring. And a little lady but with, uh, you know, with a big heart and doing great things.